Rekon comes in six models. On this video I'm going to use the Rekon Silver RL, but any other 27.5 air solo spring with motion control damper Rekon fork will fit this review. The Rekon RL comes with 32 cm tensions made from steel, which will mean more weight but also more stiffness, meaning the tensions will bring the overall weight of the fork up. The solo air spring on the left side tube offers a plush and predictable ride according to RockShox. With one single shred of valve you can feel both the positive and the negative air chambers, hence the name solo air. With the help of a small dimple on the inner side of the lowers, both chambers will then equalize by themselves which means simplicity in less complications. On the right side you have the motion control compression damper which allows rebound adjustment, low speed compression adjustment and lockout, plus a blow off valve to take in big and expected hits while on lockout mode. The crown is made from forged 6061 T6 aluminium, while the lower legs are made from magnesium which is lightweight and stiff. The forks with true axle comes with a tapered aluminium steer tube, while the ones with quick release axle offer a simple straight aluminium steer tube. On the 27.5 forks you have a reduced 42mm offset, which will help you keep your weight on the front wheel, giving you better traction and steering stability. On the 29ers you have the typical 51 offset, but also reduced 46mm. Fork travel varies between 80 and 120mm for cross-country like riding and between 120 and 150mm for trail riding. And that's pretty much all the Recon covers. Regarding brakes, it comes with post mount support, which can take between 160 and 220 mm rotors, although you will most likely not see anything bigger than 200 mm rotors with this fork. Unfortunately, the motion control damper lacks the high speed compression adjustment, which means this will not be the proper fork to hit big jumps or drop offs, as you will most likely bottom out very often and have a very harsh ride feeling. Plus, it will probably reduce the lifespan of the fork components. The low compression adjustment was made to be effective on right away shifts during cornering braking and slow inputs like small to medium bumps on the trail by keeping the suspension relative high allowing also to counteract pedal bobbing. If you like to mess around with your fork setting to find that sweet spot or if you are an aggressive rider who isn't afraid to go big, this is not the fork for you. If on the other hand you are a mellow rider wanting to ride some trails while relaxing and want simplicity without having to worry too much about your fork settings, then this may be a fork to take into consideration. Bottomless tokens cannot be added to the Recon fork, which means you can't adjust the progressiveness of the fork. And the rebound adjustment knob being made from plastic also seems fragile and prone to damage. Being a budget suspension fork, it's clear that it will not have the premium internals as other iron RockShox forks, and it might show on the trails, but that doesn't mean the Recon RL will let you down. The Recon will do what it's supposed to do, which is to allow you for a smooth ride, and it will do it well, as long as you stay within its capabilities. Don't forget, the Recon model was made for a more 
cross country trail ride like riding. Altogether, the RockShox Rackham is a very good budget suspension fork. It was not made to be an iron fork, it was made to be a budget high quality fork. This concludes this review on the RockShox Rackham RL. I hope it was helpful and entertaining. If not, just put it on the comment section below. And if you like this video, consider hitting the like button. See you on the next review.